This is the Unitarian Church of Lincoln video update. Today is Tuesday, March 1st, 2022. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. That is my dog in the background. Um, in continuing the tradition of Tuesday updates being sort of workaday updates, um, two very practical things to talk about today. The first is that we've seen um, an uptick in, in emails purporting to be um, from me, um, but actually from uh, folks impersonating me, um, asking the congregation for money. Um, this, is, uh, this is a type of scam. So if you get an email from me saying that I am in a meeting and need help and can't talk on the phone right now, know that that is almost certainly a scam. We've been getting these for two years. Uh, that's just an email that I will never send um, at this point. And if you look carefully, it's probably from uh, an email address that is not my church work address. They're often from things like reverendoscar at gmail.com or opastorsinclair at outlook.com. They show up as from Oscar Sinclair, but the actual address is different. We're aware of them. There's not a whole lot we can do about them. Um, they they come and go in waves, and uh, and we're just every time one comes out, seven of you email me about it, and I appreciate that because we know them coming. We know when they're coming in, um, but just be aware of that. Don't send gift cards to anybody. The church is not going to ask for gift cards, ever. I am never going to send you an email saying, I'm busy in a meeting, I can't talk on the phone right now. Um, even, if it, even if that's the case, I know I've seen enough of these scams that I will never send an email that says that. Okay, so thing number one was don't fall for scams. Thing number two um, is that today uh, the Lincoln Lancaster County Health Department announced that they were dropping the COVID risk dial down to yellow. Um, cases have continued to improve rapidly in Lincoln. Um, numbers of cases and hospitalizations are falling pretty dramatically. Um, and that's come with updated guidance, both from the local health department and from the CDC. Um, that guidance is good news. Um, there's, there's some recommendations on masking on there and on some other things. Um, but here's, here's my ask. Our safety team meets on Thursday. The board meets next week. So for right now, we're going to keep things mostly the same. We're going to keep requiring masks while folks are in the building at the church. Um, give us a minute to figure out what all this means. We're, we want to, we want to do this carefully and do right by our community. So know that we are aware that all the guidance has changed in the last week again and and know that we are we are actively talking about how best to to guide our community through it um so more on friday uh either about that or about some other stuff um and uh and i will see you then have a great night everybody <laughs>